Hi guys and welcome. Um, if you're new here, my name is Amy <laughs> and I love all things beauty. Today I thought I would do a shop my stash with you as we are now in a new month and uh, I want some new products to use. <laughs> so if this is your thing and you love your shop your stash too, then um, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell and you'll be notified of all my future uploads. I'm sorry, I'm doing this on my phone. <laughs> It's not great, I know. But um, yeah, so let's dive into a shop my stash. So make sure you've popped the kettle on, pull up a chair, and let's dive in. Hello, and welcome to my everyday makeup drawer. So usually with this, I normally just sit down and we load everything in together and I kind of talk you through what I'm popping in. So yeah, let's crack on, because these videos can take a while. I've got a bucket of tea already with me. Um, the first item going in is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer. This is new to me. Um, I've used it once, I quite like it, so I want to give it a good go. Um, it's a bit sticky, but it's not too bad. So we're gonna go for that one this month. And I've also got the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. Now I usually use the poreless, but I ordered um, a little set of these and I've got the matte putty primer. Um, I also got a tiny version of the um, poreless as well, which I absolutely love, which is great. Um, what else do I have here? I've got my eyeshadow primer. This one is Revolution Pro and it's the ultimate eye base. It just says prime on the bottom there. And as you can see, I quite like it. I'm hacking for it. Um, I've only really got three eyeshadow primers. Um, I don't like to have too many of them open in one go just because they dry up and um, one of the foundations or this is a CC cream I'm putting in this month is the e.l.f. camo CC cream um, I bought this in a new shade I've used it today and I really like it so I want to continue on next month this is in the shade fair 120 it is a little bit fair for me but it oxidizes so I'm not too mad <laughs> it kind of just evens itself up to the right color add a bit of bronzer and I'm okay so there's that one I have got the physician's formula butter believe it this is foundation and concealer for all skin types um, and this is in the shade fair or pale um, yeah I, I've used this once as well and I quite like it I actually mixed it in with a CC cream <laughs> Yeah, I, I really like that one, so I'm gonna continue on. And these two together here leave an absolute gorgeous glow on the skin. And talking of glow, I picked this up from Revolution. It's the Revolution XX Glow Booster. Now this is kind of like a bronzer, kind of like glow boosting cream that you can either add to your primer or your foundation. This is in the shade Fever, which I think is the lightest shade. So I want to give that a play with and just see, you know, how I can get it to work. I've got a feeling it might be the wrong shade, <laughs> but um, I want to give it a go. And the last foundation I'm popping in is the Ordinary uh, Foundation Serum. This is in shade 1.1N. I really like this just for light makeup days. It's really, really nice. Um, yeah, so I want to uh, go for that one concealers I have got my XX Revolution concealer this is in the shade CX5 um, I like this it's it's a trusty one I don't use it under my eyes but I use it on my face um, this is a new one to me um, this is the NYX can't stop won't stop I've got a feeling this is gonna be way too light <laughs> but I'm gonna give it a go it's what shade it is pale it says um, I don't know if I'm going to get on with this under my eyes, but I will give it a go for one of the days I'm just hanging around the house, just in case it goes crazy. But um, I'm looking forward to trying that. I've got my trusty iHeart Revolution Concealer. Um, this is in shade Sesame. This goes under my eyes. Absolutely love it. Um, that will definitely be on a repurchase list soon because I'm ploughing through it. I have got my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. This is another one that's a staple that usually kind of stays in my drawer. Um, this is in the shade Medium and this is what I use to spot conceal. And I've got some sun damage on my face that I use to um, cover this up. If anybody, talking of 
markings on the skin. If anybody can recommend a good um, dark spot corrector, you know, like a kind of like serum that I can put in with my skincare or cream, can you give me a shout? Because <laughs> um, I, I need some help. <laughs> I'd rather try and get to the root of the problem rather than keep covering it up. So yeah, if you've come across anything that will help, please drop me a comment and let me know. And the other item I've got going in here is my Pixie by Petcha. It's my um, skin corrector and it's in the shade Brightening Peach. I'm going to have to repurchase one of these soon because as you can see, I'm so almost hitting the bottom. But I really like that. That's what I use underneath my concealers. Powders, I couldn't decide this time. <laughs> so there's a few. Um, and I've gone for a few that I've not tried in quite a while or not used in a while. So I've got my Revolution. This is the matte base powder in P1. I really like this. It survived the declutter. <laughs> so I really want to give that some love. I have got the CoverGirl Clean Pressed Powder. This is in the shade 120 Creamy Neutral. Um, I can't remember the last time I've reached for this. This survived the declutter just because I couldn't remember what I thought of it. So this packaging is getting a bit loose. So um, I thought I'll pop it in this month and if I don't get on with it, then I may pass it on to Ellie. I have got my trusty Rimmel Stay Matte. This is in the shade 005 Silky Beige. This stays in my drawer. Um, I used to use this to set my under eyes a lot, but I've bought in a couple of products that I want to try instead. But I use this to mattify my T-zone, usually under my eyes. I've been using it for 20 years. Absolutely love it. Hit pan. Yay. I've A new one has arrived um, just because when this starts to get thin, it really does start to crack and fall away. And it doesn't take long until you start, you know, plowing through the outside. So, yep. Very pleased to be popping that in there. I have got the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I've been using this just right at the end of my makeup um, just to give my skin just that subtle glow and kind of blur. I really like this and it's been sitting in my powder drawer for a long time and I hardly reached for it so I'm glad I've pulled that in. This one may end up just sitting in my drawer with the stay mat forever. <laughs> And I've got two small powders here. I've got the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the flawless finish. And I think this is in the shade, well, it's the airbrush flawless finish. As This, this is in fair. Um, I've got this as a sample just to see how it was um, under the eyes because I've heard so many good things about it. So I've used it once and I like it. So I'm gonna carry on. And this is the Laura Mercier. This is the under eye brightening powder in the shade one. I like this too. I've used this once as well. Yeah, um, the only thing is it's such a small pot. It's, you know, trying to get a brush in there. But, um, oh, see, and it's a bit powdery, <laughs> but I really, really like it. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with um, my choices of powders this month. I'm hoping, is that gonna close? Not really. So this is a trouble and at this time of the month where I load everything in it looks so neat and tidy and then by the end it's just it's gone nuts um, I'm popping in my Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade light this is just going to keep going on forever isn't it <laughs> I did pick up the elf is it the creamy kind of bronzer contour cream they've got but it looks so grey in the pot so I may pop it in and give it a go later on in the month, but I think I've picked up the wrong shade. For bronzer, I've got the Hello Good Stuff. This is from Essence. It's the Matte and Glow Bronzer. Um, and it says it's nourishing with cocoa. Does this smell like chocolate? I can't remember. Um, not really. It's in the shade Cocoa. <laughs> So yeah, I really want to give that a go this month. And I've also got the Catrice Sun Lover Bronzer. This is in shade 010 in Sun Kissed Bronze. I do like a glowy bronzer. So I've uh, popped this one in. And from what I've used to it, I quite like it as well. And um, I'm quite enjoying some of the Catrice products at the moment. 
for blush I have got this one's new to me there's quite a lot of elf stuff in here because I've recently did sort of a small elf haul um, I didn't record it I got too excited and just busted into the box but this is the elf I think it's the prismatic stick and it's in the shade berry beloved I thought this would be absolutely amazing for this time of year I do have one of the monochromatic sticks in a different shade it's kind of like a light it's like a light ready kind of pinky cover I think it's called peony so I thought I'd give this a go I think this is going to look stunning for sort of winter I've got my Ofra blush and it's in the shade blush charm absolutely love this I thought this is going to be perfect for this time of year it's that very kind of neutral marvy or movie kind of tone so very much looking forward to trying that or diving back into it and I've pulled in my wet and wild this packaging is awful mellow wine but look at that shade it's absolutely stunning like I said for this time of year I do like bringing in my kind of deeper tones let's swatch this one as well it just kind of gives that gives the cheeks just a gorgeous gorgeous pop of color and it looks like you've kind of just stepped in from out of the cold <laughs> which I really really like now I've got a few highlighters here I tried not to go nuts because I tend to overpack the drawer um, I've got this one from Revolution it's the Revolution glass crystal illuminator now this to me looks like it's going to be an absolute ton of glitter um, let's give it a swatch it is quite dry but it's got kind of like um, I'm hoping the light is picking that up where's it gone it's kind of here in the middle <laughs> yeah it's kind of got like a dry top layer so I kind of went over the top of it with a brush and sort of scratched it away and um, it seems to be performing better and it's not as glittery or powdery so I thought I would pop that in I have got my pressed highlighter from soda I love this and I love the packaging it is in the shade where are we baby get higher <laughs> look at this I just think it's so cool and it's you know it's very um oh I can't think of the word it's kind of like retro and not but this is a gorgeous gorgeous highlighter um I've actually got it on my cheeks today um so yeah if you see it kind of pop in in the little intro I'm gonna have up to go with this yeah that is what I have on my cheeks will that close yay we're kind of winning and the ha last highlighter I've got, this is like a really small one. I think it's from the brand QKI. Um, is there a shade on this? My daughter Ellie got this in an advent calendar last year. It just says highlighter. And she kind of decluttered it and said, Mum, I'm not going to use that. And I went, I'll take that. It's a nice shade. And it is a really nice highlighter. I'm hoping you can kind of see that. It's kind of hard I'm trying to pick it up, pick the light up from this angle so yeah I thought I'll have that <laughs> and I thought I'd pop it in this month now with my mascaras I've got them up here and um, I tend to only have a certain amount open at a time so um, these are the ones that I've got open this is the revolution it's the triple chocolate dipped mascara this I absolutely love I love the wand the formula is amazing it gives me length volume it doesn't go everywhere it doesn't flake and I wear this to work so it can be on my lashes for anything up to 16 hours and it doesn't move so absolutely love it I've just opened this one up I've used it once and from what I can tell I'm not overly impressed it's the essence lash princess this is in black and um, I like the wand but I just want to see what it's like after being open for a couple of days the formula for me seems really wet it gives me length but not a lot of volume so I'm going to give this a few more days um, and see if the formula changes because sometimes that does happen. If not, I may end up decluttering that. I have got my lovely friend bought me this back from Greece. Um, it's from the brand Mon Reeve and it's called Not Gravity. This is lovely. I really like it. It does smudge a little bit, but for short wear, it's really, really good. Length, loads of length, loads of volume this is in the shade black it's it's nice to apply that wand is lovely because it's got a nice curve 
and you can really get hold and grip your lashes with it so yeah really really pleased and she said this was so reasonably priced as well and because I've used that um, I may have a Mon Reeve haul coming <laughs> and the last mascara I've got open this is the KVD vegan beauty go big or go home and this is a small sample of it this is the old packaging I do apologize um, I got this in my advent calendar last year from glossy box and it's not long opened it up I really like this formula but it does smudge after a while so I kind of use this for filming um, and when I'm not really going anywhere uh, maybe the school run so it's not on long enough so that it will just go everywhere but yeah loads of length loads of volume um, when I've worn this someone's asked me if I'm actually got false lashes, false lashes on it kind of gives you that much so it is it is a good mascara it's just a shame for the wear time my brow products I've got I've got the revolution this is the I think it's just their skinny brow pencil got the spoolie I think this is a relatively new one because that spoolie is awfully clean for me where is it yeah I don't know if I'm gonna like this this is quite a dry formula as you can see um, I will give it a go I may end up passing this on as I've not really used the spoolie so we will see how that one goes and I have got my Saint Lux clear brow gel this came in I think it was my glossy box and I quite like this it sets them in place it does what it needs to do and it came in my subscription box so kind of win-win just gonna clean that swatch off my hand cool this it's good once it's on because it's not gonna go anywhere but um it's very very dry so I may kind of just maybe dip it in an oil or something and really get it going or try and warm it up a bit um eyeliners I've got this month I am so excited <laughs> I have got the XX Revolution. This is in the shade brown, I think. It's like a dark brown colour. Pop those down without them rolling around. Um, yeah, I've got about five of these. Absolutely love them. They're so creamy. They glide on. Packaging is really weighty. This is metal. And it feels so expensive, but it's not. And they don't go anywhere. So yeah, I'm going to pop that one in. Oh, excuse the noise. I have got the Barry M Rose Gold. I love popping this in my lower lash line, lower water line, kind of like this time of year. It's really nice. It's a nice shade. It kind of, it, it doesn't really go anywhere. It's a little bit dry, but if you get it going, it, it's really nice. So I like that. I have got two from Beauty Bay. These are relatively new to me. This is in the shade Coffee. Oh, we've had an accident with that one. It's kind of gone everywhere. Let's see if we can uh, clean that up a bit. Yeah, this is in the shade Coffee. Oh, that's nice and creamy. So I've not used these yet. I just wanted to see how they wore. Um, you know, if they go everywhere. I hate it when they run into my lower waterline because I either tight line or I line my upper waterline. So whatever I put there needs to stay there and not anywhere else. Um, so this is in the shade Peacock. I don't think I've even swatched this one yet. Oh, wow, look at that. That is absolutely stunning. I think I can feel a, maybe a golden blue look coming on. Oh, really excited to be using that. I've got one from NYX. This is the Epic Wear Liner, and this is in the shade Emerald. So we've got a nice green. Oh, that's a really thick kind of creamy formula really looking forward to trying that and I've got one from LA girl and this is in the shade vivid I'm hoping this is going to be vivid I've not swatched this one yet either oh that is very very creamy very creamy gorgeous color a nice purple oh and I've got a purple eyeshadow palette that I really want to give a go so um yeah I think that would look absolutely gorgeous with it I have got a couple of uh, cream liners uh, not liners eyeshadows this is wet and wild this is liquid catsuit what shade are you shells and whistles um, I've not reached this for a while this uh, survived declutter I've decluttered quite a lot 
of sort of like my cream eyeshadows absolutely gorgeous and I've also got the autograph it's Marks and Spencers this is in the shade copper I really can't wait to try this or well, not try it but use it again I've not used it for a long time there we go and it's this one here absolutely stunning I'm gonna be covered in glitter for the school run. <laughs> I've got a couple of single shadows these are absolutely amazing um, they are MUA um, which is Makeup Academy I can never find where the shades are I think one is rust and one is gold so we've got a gold one I've got this on my lids today and it's absolutely amazing I love it really recommend if you can pick these up the pigment in them is just absolutely crazy look at that <laughs> it is nuts and I think these are very very inexpensive so if you can uh, find them maybe go on to Beauty Bay I think I am um, picked them up from I have got the elf very bad sort of little bite-sized palette this came in my glossy box this month so I want to give that a go I have also got the Laura Mercier caviar stick and this is in the shade raspberry oh sorry bring it down a bit um I've not used this yet I think I've swatched it but I've not used it look at that that's absolutely gorgeous <laughs> gorgeous gorgeous so I'm really looking forward to that and I've got a couple of little palettes that I kind of just keep in here this is the iHeart Revolution peppermint palette I decluttered so many of these um, yeah this is going up before my palette declutter I do apologize for spoilers but yeah I decluttered quite a few of these and um, sorry there you see it this one survived only because of the greens and kind of this really stunning coppery shade well, might be you know really nice for this time of year we're kind of like fall kind of going into winter this is the I heart revolution it's a chocolate palette but it's a contour palette but I use this on the eyes absolutely love it it's been sitting kind of in my face palette drawer for a long time but look at those absolutely stunning and when I go to work I normally would just put that one in the crease and then pop the gold wherever it is it's over here <laughs> the gold all over the lid and it's just a really quick and easy look it's really really nice and very very inexpensive and the last little palette I'm popping in here is from wet and wild it's the color icon this one is in the shade lights off I've got three of these um, this is the only one I haven't used yet I've swatched it oh sorry I've swatched it and really like what I've swatched but I've heard that these are very hit and miss the other two that I have are absolutely gorgeous and love them so I want to uh, really give this one a good go and you can get some nice smoky kind of glamorous looks out of it how's that one? Oh, don't know about that that's not really showing up what about that one I'm running out of space to swatch mm, don't know that one may end up being passed on um, but yeah I'm looking forward to uh, giving all that a go I've got three setting sprays here um, one I can't remember if I've used this before this is brand new it's the Revolution Pro Supreme Hold finishing spray um, I thought I'd just pop it in just to try it out I have got this is new to me this was a gift with purchase from elf and as you can see I'm kind of been plowing my way through I absolutely love it it's the elf and Jen Atkins collab absolutely love it it's very um, light it's a very fine mist it's like a coconut and it's quite glowy but not sweaty glowy not like you know I've just done 10 mile jog um, but yeah it gives that really nice glow for this time of year so really enjoying that want to carry on and I need to form an opinion on this as you can see I've kind of used it and when I have it makes my face look really matte but at the moment I'm using more hydrating products so this might work if not I'm afraid I'm probably gonna have to declutter this I'm glad I bought a travel size and not a full size because this is like 25 26 pounds which to me is a lot for a setting spray not when you can buy others that are just as good 
Right, so here is everything in my everyday makeup drawer. Now, as per normal, I pull out um, a few palettes that I normally have sitting on my vanity. Now look. <laughs> I think I've got some good eyeliners there. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, sorry, I normally have palettes and lip products sitting on my vanity. So I'm just gonna close the drawer and um, we will dive into those. Right, so moving on to eyeshadow palettes. Um, I don't think I've chosen a face palette this month. Um, yeah, because I really wanted to give those bronzers a good go. So um, I have got this. It's the Revolution Forever Flawless in Allure. This is new to me. I've not used it yet. Absolute gorgeous tones in there. Really, really nice. Um, I haven't even swatched this yet. Let's see how they go. Oh wow, <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, trying that. Um, my light has gone off for some reason. Get back on, that's a bit better. So yeah, I'm gonna give that one a go. I have got, this is one uh, another one of the items that my uh, lovely friend brought me back from Greece. This is the Mon Reeve Rose Champagne Palette. This is absolutely gorgeous, I love it. Um, I've used this a couple of times now and I really can't wait to dive in it some more. You've only got two mattes in here, there's a lot of shimmers. So I did pull in kind of like, you know, another palette just to bump it up a bit. But if I show you some of these shades and it, she said it was so inexpensive as well. Look at that green, you've got the green here and then you've got kind of like this champagne-y kind of colour up there. They are absolutely amazing. And like I said, um, I have placed uh, an order with Mon Reef, which I will be um, kind of do, sitting down and filming with you. Sorry, I'm just trying to remove these swatches. I'm getting too excited and swatching everything. Um, she also brought me back a black gel liner and oh my goodness, it does not move. It, it sits in your upper lash line for days, <laughs> days and days. So yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Um, the next palette I've got is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Reezy palette. This was a little present to myself. <laughs> that blue is absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I know that it's an older palette and everybody has seen it, but it's new to me and I'm excited. Look at that. I used that in a look and it was just, absolutely lovely I loved it and um, what have I got left I've got a couple of profusion palettes because I placed a profusion haul because I've not used used that stuff before so this one is mauves or mauves absolutely gorgeous I've swatched it but I've not um, sat down and played with it yet so I'm really wow look at that I'm really looking forward to giving that a go and it's just stunning for this time of year really really nice and I've also got the profusion meadow palette I just couldn't help myself <laughs> these colors are just absolutely stunning I love greens golds yeah really really looking forward to trying that this this color is really really strange it's kind of like a green but it's not it's like a brown green yeah so um there's the eyeshadow eyeshadow palettes i've got a lot to be getting on with i am just absolutely smothered in glitter now those eyeliner swatches i had to use a micellar water to, <laughs> to remove them they did not want to budge, which is absolutely amazing. I'm um, very pleased, so I'm not going to have any trouble um, with them smudging. I've got lips, but I need some tea. Well, here's my little piggy cup. <laughs> mm. Very nice cup of tea. It's starting to go cold. Right, the lip products I have gone for. I've got a lot of e.l.f. this month. I've got the e.l.f. I think this is their Sheer Slick, yeah, Sheer Slick lipstick. This is in the shade Golden Pear. Absolutely love this. It's really nice for this time of year. It's very hydrating, plus you get that pop of colour. Really nice. And I've also got the same one, Sheer Slick, and this is in 
cherry cherry blush or cherry flush so you've kind of got like a ready kind of one yeah pinky kind of ready like I said they're very moisturizing and hydrating I do recommend them they do transfer because of kind of what they are I've also got the elf hydrating lip shine and what shade are you it doesn't really say um, but here's that one now I've got glitter all over my lip products this one's really nice it's more like a tinted kind of lip balm and you've got that hydrating kind of core in the middle hoping the light kind of picks it up there we go yeah they're really really nice and this time of year my lips do dry out so I am reaching for a lot of products like that I have got this lipstick here it is in the shade Rosewood but who is it from? Just says Lip Affection, Colour and Care Lipstick. But there's, oh, it's from LOV. This is really, really nice. I like this. So I've got just a nice kind of, kind of like a mauvey, kind of deep nudie shade. Gorgeous this time of year. Really like the um, component it comes in as well. Here's another Monreve product, and this is in the shade 03. Now, what shade are you? It says it's, um, is that Tasteable Lips? <laughs> it's their kind of like, you know, the lipstick. This isn't, um, it's a more expensive one from them. I've got three lipsticks coming in their haul, and um, this is a more expensive one. I went for a more kind of basic looking lipstick, but I really like how we open this so you pop the button and out comes lipstick and this is an absolute gorgeous nude I really like this this is very hydrating it's like a, a satin kind of finish it's not matte and you get that little kind of shine with it it's very comfortable I have got this is my new lipstick from Soul Tree. this came in my Love Lula subscription box this is absolutely gorgeous it's in the shade Wild Honey 811 so we've got a kind of deeper nude here. And there we go. That's a huge swatch. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. It's so comfortable. It's matte. Yeah, it's really, really nice. I have got two from Bourgeois. I have got 03. These are their Rouge Velvet lipsticks. Now, what shade? This is Hip hip pink chick these are really nice they dry down um, matte and they don't really transfer either so I would like to pick up some more shades in this their liquid lip I decluttered but um, I kept hold of these and this is the same the rouge velvet the lipstick the shade uh, 15 and this one is peach tatan so it's like they're named after kind of like desserts and this is what I've got on my lips today um, I've got it topped with a gloss but this is kind of like an orangey kind of nudie yeah really really nice absolutely love it and I thought it went really well with my look and the last lipstick I have here yay we've made it to the end well done if you're still with me sorry I've just headbutted the camera how nice um, this is from MAC this is my only MAC lipstick and I really can't read what um, shade it is it says A06 and this is just an absolute stunning red this one here absolutely gorgeous I thought I'd pull in one red one um, at Christmas time I may start reaching for other kind of red lipsticks but I thought I'd give that one a go because it's kind of like it's got like a blue kind of undertone to it I really like that um, and I've not really worn it very much either so I want to give it some give it some love and there we go I've now got kind of like a nudie pinky Marvy arm <laughs> so yeah so congratulations for getting to the end with me these videos can be um, quite long but I do love shop my stash videos they're kind of like the some of the videos that I binge watch so yeah, so um, let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you've got um, that I'm going to be using next month or any of your favourite products 
what colour lipsticks do you reach for into um, going into sort of winter and around the festive season time? Drop me a comment below. I love hearing from you guys. It's so nice chatting to you. So thank you for joining me again today. I'm going to uh, now dive into my PDT. <laughs> I hope to see you again soon. In the meantime, lovelies, please take care. Bye-bye.